Take a minute, ma'am. Uh, I do, should I do a check? Like, should I say myself? Is it and should we no, wait for the place? No, ma'am. It's going to be like. Okay. Hi everyone. This is Trishti Deshpu Gowda, and uh, we have all joined here today for a session on uh, prelims, effective uh, strategy okay. preparation for prelims. I would uh, like to apologize, you know, their apologies for uh, the delay. We were having certain technical issues because of which we couldn't connect on time. Uh, but anyways, so um, the prelims uh, 2023 is scheduled uh, this year on May 28th, as we all know. And uh, so, given if we say this, then we have so say around four and a half months to prepare for uh, the UPSC prelims, and uh, this is a limited. Uh, time, but if effectively used, if efficiently used, uh, we can definitely uh, crack prelims. So, um, you know, in the coming uh, 20 to 25 minutes of this session, uh, I will be discussing with you the major points, um, the major key points which I've noted down, which I feel that um, it is important for you to know uh, before you deep dive into your uh, uh, prelims preparation for this year. So, uh, a quick two points about why uh, prelims is important. Obviously, it is the first step of the UPSC examination. If we don't crack this, uh, we are not getting to write the mains examination, which actually will decide your final rank and marks uh, of the merit. So, it is important uh, in that sense. Second, also, uh, the preparation and the time you have to give uh, for this examination uh, is, is very crucial. If you have seen the current year, the current year, the current year, the current year, so uh, a lot of non-traditional kind of questions, new kind of questions are now being introduced and uh, it is not as straightforward, uh, cracking prelims is, has become very dicey, so it is all the more important that uh, no matter at what stage of your preparation you are, uh, you should now um, direct all your energies and direct your entire preparation uh, orientation towards prelims. So uh, this is the right time and uh, you must uh, give your full attention to it. So the first thing uh, for prelims exam is there has to be a clarity on the basic concepts, right? Uh, you will be given 100 questions of all the different subjects and it is extremely crucial that the conceptual clarity is there for every topic. Say for example, you are reading about electoral bonds. So it, it's somewhere in the news and you know that it is being uh, it is something which is being promoted to ensure transparent funding of the political parties uh, but you know that's not it you have to go a little bit into details what are the important points what how is it someone should how how will someone be able to do it or you know what exactly are the benefits that we are uh, getting so all of these nitty-gritties that kind of clarity of that concept has to be there because when you look at the options the options will very much be you know same or equal to each other so it is very important that you get conceptual clarity of every concept where whatever subject you are reading uh, focus on that clarity another example uh, very recently we have this uh, green hydrogen mission which is being launched by the government so just go ahead and find out what exactly is this green hydrogen how do we find it out you know how do we uh, produce it what exactly is the plan of the government maybe there might be some question which can uh, which can come uh, with regard to uh, the concept of it, how it differs from the other kinds of energy that is available. So uh, please focus on the conceptual clarity of uh, the uh, whatever concepts you are reading. Uh, don't just you know in mains what we do in mains we uh, focus on a lot of other points. We go in the depth of the topic, but here we definitely uh, need to cover the breadth of it. We definitely have to have a clarity. Second thing is. Uh, Practice of MCQs is, is non-negotiable, extremely important. Do not rely only on reading the topic. That I have read the topic, I know it. No. Practicing the MCQs, because it's a prelims exam, because we are going to have multiple choice questions, please take up uh, subjective questions. Uh, initially, don't go for, uh, I mean, initially I will not suggest to uh, attempt uh, full mocks. Initially, I will suggest that you should be practicing questions specific to that particular subject. So you have picked up quality, you have given say 10-20 days on revising that particular topic or the subject. So uh, along with that also, every single day also you can practice questions or you can do one thing. You can keep one day in the week, uh, at the weekend or on Sunday or Monday, one day, where you will practice the set of questions for the topic that you've read. So uh, you will be able to see the loopholes 
uh, in your preparation that you have prepared that topic but when you are actually solving those questions uh, you might face some issues so that you would be able to understand only when you practice a lot of mcqs definitely do it topic wise uh, initially you can do it topic wise say till the month of uh, march or april and then you can sort of dive into uh, mock tests also uh, next thing is uh, solving full length test after you've done the uh, the uh, topic wise or subject wise tests the next thing to do is uh, also uh, attempting the mock tests now um, i'll come to this later on again where we'll talk about uh, attempting the full paper and all of the, those things we'll come to that uh, there is one important point uh, in prelims examination and that is individual strategy ki uh, aap khud jab aap attempt kar rahe hain questions aap kitne attempt kar rahe hain how much you are getting negatives now uh, there is a huge variation with regard to this point a lot of people suggest a lot of things so i'll give you my example so i in my prelims examinations had uh, had attempted 74 questions only 74 questions i had attempted and uh, i'm saying only because there are a lot of people who would say that you have to attempt 90 plus or you know more than 95 you should attempt only then you can get a score what i will say is your opinions are mixed but this will vary with how you do it we all have a personal level of how much accuracy we have with regard to question how much we are able you know there's some kind of negative marking which will be there so how will you be able to balance that amount of attempt that is going to be our individual strategy so you know with with the help of mentorship that is available to you uh, you should be able to design that individual strategy aapko ye karna hai ki jo bhi subjects aapke samne hai you know we have certain subjects which are our strengths which uh, we have really learned much we have given a lot of time to it and more often than not हम उसके क्वेश्चन सही कर पाते हैं तो यू हैव टू मेक दैट काइंड ऑफ एनालिसिस फॉर योर सेल्फ बिफोर हैंड सो दिस दिस टाइम दिस टाइम ऑफ फोर एंड हाफ मंथ्स व्हिच यू हैव दिस इज द राइट टाइम वे यू कैन सिट एंड एनालाइज लेट्स से इकोनॉमिक्स आई हैव कवर्ड माय बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स एंड यू नो मोर ऑफ इन द नॉट आई एम आई एम अटेम्प्टिंग दोस क्वेश्चंस करेक्टली सो यू नो दैट्स हाउ यू कैन आल्सो जीरो इन ऑन द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड ऑन द डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ एन अमाउंट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू will be attempting in your final examination so this was about individual strategy isme jaisa maine bataya a lot of people also talk about the elimination technique elimination technique aap sab jante honge ki ye nahi hai we sort of go you know reverse we try to find out this is not this is not and hence this could be the answer or this would be the answer you know to break the neck of this technique upsc came out with these kind of questions which in the previous in the last year the question is such that you are given uh, different regions mentioned in the news and then the countries are given and uh, the options are such that how many pairs given above are correctly matched only one pair only two pair only three pair so agar aap ye question dekhenge aapko ye nahi puchna hai ki first option correct hai ya nahi hai second option correct hai ya nahi hai third is correct or not fourth is correct or not they are just asking how many pairs are correct so that means you have to know the exact name you have to be able to guess or you have to be able to know the exact name of that region only then can you uh, you know put any option a b c or d so uh, you know this is something which uh, which is something which is very crucial hence that elimination is not going to work here so we need to work on our knowledge we need to work on our information we need to work on practicing more and more such kind of questions so that they don't come as a bouncer to us when we actually attempt the paper the next thing which i would like to tell you all is um, please don't ignore csat even if you know csat is something very recently a uh, very close friends of ours uh, uh, they did very well in um, uh, the gs a uh, part of these uh, upsc prelims but in csat uh, because of a couple of questions two three questions they couldn't Uh, make it through the basic score that's required so you know there can be nothing worse than that so uh, please don't ignore csat uh, gs is an entire big area of upsc uh, prelims but uh, csat is something which has limited subjects you have english you have reasoning and you have mathematics questions uh, aptitude questions and uh, you don't need to devote a lot of time to it but i will say even if you come from a technical background if you are an engineer or you have done these subjects earlier please make an effort to solve the previous year questions previous year questions ke saath mein 
कोई ना कोई टेस्ट सीरीज के क्वेश्चन भी आप इसमें जरूर सॉल्व करें बिकॉज द काइंड ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन सी सैट हैज डेफिनेटली इंक्रीज इफ यू कम्पेयर द पेपर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन नाइनटीन एंड देन यू कम टू पेपर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन और ट्वेंटी टू सो यू नो डेफिनेटली सी सैट का जो लेवल है इट हैज रिजन एंड इन ऑर्डर टू कीप अप विद दैट पेज यू ऑल्सो नीड टू डिवोट एन इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इन द सी सैट प्रेपरेशन हो सकता है कि कोई स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक्स हो उसमें जो आपको ज़्यादा डिफिकल्ट लग रहे हो सकता है इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम आ रही हो या इवन इफ यू थिंक दैट मे बी यू नो सम मैथमेटिकल क्वेश्चन आई एम नॉट बिन एबल टू सॉल्व गिव सम टाइम अलॉट सम टाइम इन अ वीक टू दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो यू नो दिस इज द टाइम वेर यू हैव द एनर्जी एंड टाइम टू इम्प्रूव अपॉन योर मिस्टेक्स सो प्लीज चूज द टॉपिक्स विच यू आर वीक इन एंड you know section the time accordingly in a week or in uh, once in every fortnight every 15 days so that you are able to give uh, uh, proper time to it and you are able to improve your scores in that particular section of csat iske baad the ye hai ki you know uh, right guidance and mentorship at this at this stage of your preparation is is very essential uh, these coming four months uh, for uh, the prelims will be the deciding factor Uh, what I had done was um, right from the February month or a couple of days before when the economic survey and the budget is coming out. Uh, yeah, uh, saying talking about economic survey and budget, uh, these two documents in uh, the section of economy are extremely important. Uh, reading these two documents will not only be helpful for you in prelims, but they'll play a huge role in mains. So uh, whenever these documents are out. please go ahead and read it uh, there there are summaries available there are a number of guidance available for it please focus your give your time for understanding the concepts in economic survey budget mein kya naya aaya hai budget mein kaun se particular sectors ke liye zyada provision kiya gaya hai government ke dwara to is pe zarur focus kare and uh, make sure that you are able to understand the gist and understand the concepts इन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर ईयर का जो हमारा सर्वे और बजट रहेगा उन दोनों को भी बहुत अच्छे से आप इसको पढ़ लीजिएगा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट फ्रॉम माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस अराउंड दी मंथ ऑफ जनवरी टू फेब आई फेस अ लॉट ऑफ इशूज विद सॉल्व यू नो गेटिंग गुड स्कोर इन फिल्म्स सो इवन आई वॉज अराउंड दिस टाइम आई वॉज गेटिंग अराउंड से फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी मैक्सिमम सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी मार्क्स so that is not a healthy score uh, going into the prelims in order to crack the upsc prelims with a safe score you definitely need to aim around 120 plus so if you are in that range uh, you can say confidently that you know i i will be able to make it so uh, solve a couple of mocks see where you are what i did was uh, in this time i was not scoring good so uh, there was this uh, this thing that i read on is baba and they had this uh, thing about an- analyzing the negatives so that was a very good categorization and uh, i did it and it uh, thankfully worked for me uh, this is extremely crucial you can also try it with uh, with your preparation jo bhi negatives aap kar rahe hain maan lijiye aapne 20 negatives ya 25 negatives uh, question uh, aap se ho gaye and you know they are wrong so uh, please analyze the negatives what what we do is we just focus on okay fine galat ho gaya chhod diya learn kar liya ki theek hai kya tha and we just left it analyze the wrong answers why is it wrong understand the why behind it ek ho sakta hai one category will be kyu galat hua over confident we got over confident we guessed it we felt ki nahi ye to you know this will be the thing and we just guessed it so make that category you can just you know if you have 20 negative questions uh, count how many questions you are doing in every category one category can be Of being overconfident. Second category can be, you know the concept, but you have not been able to apply the concept. मतलब आपके application of concept में problem है. जब this is also very crucial category. आपको concept पता है, but you know you know that uh, these many members are there in Lok Sabha. But when they ask the when this particular bill has to be passed, how many people are required? You are not able to answer the question. so that means you know the concept but you are not able to apply it so this is another category of uh, being of doing wrong or doing negatives third category will be that uh, you completely you know uh, i mean you you somehow missed the directive which is there in that question the question was who are not or which is not so you completely skipped 
दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड आप उस वर्ड को पढ़ना ही भूल गए और इसके कारण आपने गलत कर दिया अदरवाइज आपको ये क्वेश्चन आता था वेन यू कैटेगराइज दीज पर्टिकुलर मिस्टेक्स ऑफ योर्स यू विल बी एबल टू जीरो डाउन कि ऐसा क्या है जिसके कारण मैं ये क्वेश्चन गलत कर रहा हूँ या कर रही हूँ एंड वेन यू गेट टू नो दैट कि वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट इट बिकम्स वेरी ईजी टू वर्क ऑन दोज पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक्स टू बिकम्स ईजी टू वर्क ऑन दोज एरियाज उसके बाद अब आपको उसी एरिया पे काम करना है अगर मैं गेस कर रही हूँ तो मैं करूंगी कि नहीं आई शुड बी कॉन्फिडेंट ओनली देन आई बी डूइंग इट आई हैव टू रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी प्रॉपरली आई हैव टू फोकस ऑन दी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट वाइल स्टडिंग इससे आपको एक और बात पता चलेगी कि कौन सा सब्जेक्ट है या कौन सा टॉपिक है जिसमें आप बार बार जो है रिपीटेडली नेगेटिव कर रहे हैं रिपीटेडली गलत कर रहे हैं तो दैट विल गिव यू अ डायरेक्शन टू योर एंटायर प्रेपरेशन जर्नी एज वेल so uh, please also um, uh, focus on your negatives focus on your mistakes analyze those mistakes uh, whenever you are attempting any paper whenever you are attempting any question give double the time of it towards analysis of that paper you know this is what i'm stressing don't just give mocks for the sake of giving mocks understand uh, the questions understand if it has gone wrong why is it gone wrong uh, go deep down into it so you'll be able to find out your weak areas and then you can pinpointedly work towards that so uh, this was uh, very much about what i wanted to tell you and uh, yes the final thing will be um, chunk out your time plan your time very effectively make sure that you are preparing each and every topic of the syllabus do not leave out anything uh, even if it is the first time you're reading it you've not been able to do it chunk your time clearly for quality for economy section wise and give your time properly to every single topic um if you are going through the current affairs so aisa rehta hai jaise agar aap 2023 ke prelims ki baat kare to january 2022 se leke abhi tak ka jo bhi current affairs hai that becomes important for you so uh, please uh, read all the current affairs from january 2022 देवी मल्टीपल यू नो सोर्सेज अवेलेबल टू यू उनसे जरूर आप इसको रिवाइज करें मेक श्योर दैट यू आर एबल टू कवर ऑल दी इम्पॉर्टेंट इशूज दैट आर इन द न्यूज दिस आई एम सेम बिकॉज इन योर जनरल स्टडीज प्रिलिम्स यू माइट नॉट बी गेटिंग डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी कोर कॉन्सेप्ट यू वुड बी गेटिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी फ्रॉम वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज इन द न्यूज सो अगर आपने वो न्यूज पढ़ी रहेगी यू वुड नो द कॉन्टेक्स तो आपको आप एग्जाम में उस प्रेशर एनवायरनमेंट में आप ज़्यादा बेहतर तरीके से उसको सॉल्व कर पाएंगे इफेक्टिवली सॉल्व कर पाएंगे अनदर थिंग आई एल से कि वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग योर मॉक्स आप जब भी कोई मॉक टेस्ट दें प्लीज गिव इट इन अ टाइम एंड प्रॉपर मैनर इवन इफ यू आर गिविंग एट योर होम फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गिव ऑल द मॉक टेस्ट एट माई होम सो डिन गो टू एल इवन इफ यू गेट अ चांस से टू गो टू अ लाइब्रेरी यू वॉन्ट टू गो एट अ टेस्ट सेंटर दैट इज़ वेरी गुड बट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गो आउट घर पर ही दे रहे हैं तो यू नो जस्ट क्लोज योर रूम एट योर स्टडी टेबल कीप अ वॉच कीप अ वाटर बॉटल विथ यू एंड यू नो ट्राई टू सिमुलेट द एग्जाम एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम इन द प्रिलियम्स एग्जाम इट इज गोइंग टू बी एन एक्सट्रीम प्रेशर एनवायरमेंट एंड इफ द टाइम विल बी समर विल बी स्वेटिंग एंड यू नो इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट यू नीड टू परफॉर्म योर बेस्ट सो ट्राई टू सिमुलेट दैट एनवायरमेंट so that you feel it that you know this is the time this these are the 3 hours with me where i have to uh, perform properly try to simulate uh, those conditions in your uh, when you give the mock tests uh, another thing will be that um, and this is something revision 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 is extremely crucial uh, don't rely only on one reading or two reading kai baar aisa hota hai ki hame lagta hai ki lakshmi kaan we have you know picked up we picked up this quality book and you've read it once so it will it is fine you've soaked it in no but it requires multiple readings 2 3 4 times only then so uh, you might have made your own notes you might be referring to notes from uh, institutes or you know there might be uh, other sources which you will be referring please revise those sources again and again uh, uh, make a proper revision strategy for your own the more you revise the more you're able to uh, again and again reach to those facts you it will be you know it will be both stored in your memory and when exactly it's required you will be able to retrieve it there are certain uh, facts kuch aise rehte hain jo hame yaad nahi rehte hain what you can do is national parks hain endangered species hain you know all these environmental uh, uh, things are there you can just write it down in a piece of paper 
write down the articles just paste it in front of your study uh, wall in front of your study table and just keep looking at it every day you know even the sight of uh, the vision the able you if you are putting say 5 minutes 5 minutes minute bhi agar aap usko din mein dekh rahe ho to kahin na kahin wo aapka revise ho raha hai so don't just keep it in your book ki jab main book kholunga ya kholungi tabhi main wo article padhungi what is article 13 what is article 14 likh kar ke aap print nikal ke जरूर उसको आप अपने स्टडी रूम में लगा दीजिए वेन एवर यू गोइंग आउट गोइंग इन जस्ट गिव इट सम टाइम ये आप जोग्राफी के मैप्स के साथ भी कर सकते हैं जैसा एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आई यूज टू गिव हाफ एन आवर टू दी एटलिस तो मतलब हाफ एन आवर जस्ट ओपन अप दी एटलिस सी वेर एग्जैक्टली वॉट आर द कंट्रीज वेर आर द सीज यू नो जो पासिस होते हैं वी आर डिफरेंट स्ट्रेट्स दैट वी नीड टू मेमोराइज कि ये स्ट्रेट कौन सा है एंड वॉट इज दिस लैंडफॉर्म एक्सेट्रा तो ये आप जब तक बार बार उसका रिवीजन नहीं करेंगे तो एक बार में आपको वो चीज़ याद रहने वाली नहीं है तो प्लीज फोकस एज मच एज यू कैन ऑन रिवीजन वंस यू डन विद द टॉपिक गिव प्रिपेयर प्रॉपर स्लॉट्स फॉर इट प्रिपेयर प्रॉपर टाइम टेबल फॉर इट एंड डू इट एंड इन द लास्ट मंथ डेफिनेटली अराउंड इन द मे यू कैन स्टॉप स्टडिंग न्यू मटीरियल देन यू कैन स्टॉप स्टडिंग एनी न्यू मोर फैक्ट्स and you can just focus on the revision of whatever you have read so uh, i think i have been able to cover the points which i thought i'll discuss with you today and uh, if there are any more queries uh, we could discuss it later on in uh, further on sessions so for now uh, i would like to wish all of you uh, all the very best for uh, upsc prelims 2023 this is a very crucial time for all of you um, i would uh, uh, wish you all the best and um, uh, also that uh, uh, this examination requires 200% of your efforts so please don't give it half hearted ones now this is the time just you know get into the zone and uh, give your 200% i'm sure that if you'll work hard you'll succeed all the very best to all of you and thank you so much for joining us today